Do you want to know the secret to having successful classroom management? Well, I'm about to tell you. If we don't already know each other, my name is Kathy Martin, and I'm the creator of the Pre-Algebra Teachers Middle School Math Membership. We are your one-stop shop for everything you need to teach middle school math. So you want to know the secret to successful classroom management? Well, in all my years of teaching, I am going to share that secret with you right now. Are you ready? Okay. The number one secret to classroom management, it's not even a secret, but it starts and ends with building relationships. Yes, especially in the middle school math class, everything is relationships. Now, what does building relationships have to do with classroom management? It's really the key, it is everything. You really must start building that relationship from day one. But if you are happen, if you happen to be watching this after, you know, your first day of school, it's totally okay. So let's start tomorrow. Let's start rebuilding tomorrow. You really need to have a solid relationship with your class and your students really, really need to feel like you care about them. That's the secret. If your students feel like you care about them, they will do anything and everything to please you. They will work for you. They will just want to make you proud. And the same goes for the parents of students. Nobody really talks about this. If the parents of those students feel like you care about their baby, if those parents feel like you are here for their child, they'll do anything to help you too. They won't email you as much. They won't bug you as much, but I'm not here to talk about parents. I'm here to talk about classroom management, but it all goes hand in hand. So how do you build these relationships, right? Like how do we actually do it? It doesn't have to be hard and it doesn't need to be weird, okay? It really can just start with, hey Susie, so glad you're here today when Susie walks into the classroom. How are you feeling today? How's it going? Just simply asking how they are. Isn't it nice when you see you know, a colleague or you see an administrator and they actually take the time and say, hey, how are you? Like, and wait for you to respond versus a passing like, hey, how's it going by? You know, like when someone actually gives you the time and they make you feel like you're being heard, isn't that everything? It kind of is, it's the same for kids too. You know, saying your student's individual name when, you, when they enter the classroom is beyond powerful. Addressing them by their name. Hey Jacob, how's it going? I'm so glad you're here. Hey Michael, how's it going? So glad you're here. Hey, you know, Eliza, how's it going? So glad you're here. Do you have a good weekend? Yeah, really good to see you. Share stories with your students. You know, like let them know that you're real human. Share jokes with them attend their games, say hi to them when you're walking to the office. Like obviously don't embarrass them. You'll know when you, you'll be able to tell if they're like trying to hide from you, but if they're acknowledging you, if you make eye contact, just wave, you know, be a human with your students, really connect with them. I know students, they will, I tell a lot of funny stories about my mom because my mom is a very silly woman. And those are some stories that the students years later will ask me about how's your mom doing you know because those are things that that made them laugh and that they remembered from my class right okay the other thing i want to share with you besides building relationships which is very very important the other piece that's all it's like 1a 1b building relationships is 1a 1b is pick your battles okay pick your battles is very very important there are things that your students will do that might be triggering for you and they may not be doing it on purpose, okay? They, they might not be doing it to make you angry or to annoy you. Sometimes they're just behaviors that they cannot control. Sometimes there, there are things that they're just doing that they simply cannot control. Can you ignore the behavior? Obviously, if it's like super disruptive or, you know, like I say this within reason, right? For example, I had a student who would, he had like a tick that sounded like hiccuping almost. It was like, yep, yep, yep. He just would make that sound over and over and over again. And I didn't know who he was. It was like the first day. And I was like, who's making that noise? What is that noise? Can you stop? Like, I didn't know who it was. 
I didn't know what it was. I was just like very annoyed because it was a very annoying sound. And it literally was every second of the class period. And I had another, and he was so embarrassed. He was a big, big kid, probably like 200 pounds, like six, five, just big kid and sweet as can be. And another kid chimed in and said, that's Mitch, he has Tourette's. And I felt like such a jerk, you know, but I was like, oh, okay, great. Now that I know, it, it like didn't really annoy me anymore. It just like was, right? And I'm only telling you this because if if you just continue to get mad about things that are trivial, it's gonna make building relationships really, really difficult. I also work with a colleague who would scream at kids, scream at them if they walked into class with like a hat on, like a baseball hat on. And she, before even saying good morning, before even saying anything, it was, take your hat off. You're walking into a room. That's not being a gentleman, right? And to me, wasn't a big deal. I don't really care about hats. That's my personal feelings about it. But for her, that's what she wanted. Like that was the hill she was gonna die on. And she was really destroying the relationships with these students because she was going to scream at them every day for wearing a hat. And how would you feel upon walking to your workplace, walking to your, your home or your classroom, whatever, and instantly getting yelled at, right? Nobody wants that. So I'm not saying that behaviors don't deserve punishment or they don't deserve consequences of some kind, but really pick your battles and just make sure that the punishment fits the crime, okay? If you want more back to school resources, I will link them below in um, the description box. We have some awesome first day activities, some awesome first week activities to help you build relationships because if you can start from the beginning, this is so important. Until next time, bye for now.